Okay, so obvious from this that using copper electrodes is not a good idea. The water went bright turquoise, a lot of residue. So I got these aluminium plates. I've got lots of them. I'm going to sacrifice one of them. I have got another use for them, but I think I can say I can use one. I'm going to make aluminium electrodes and we'll see how that affects the whole system. I was quite pleased with the amount of hydrogen that I might eventually got, but let's see if we can improve this even more. So I cut out 14 plates from the aluminium. Um, I chose this. I made them like this. So all plates are exactly the same, nice and easy to cut out, didn't waste any metal. I've now sanded them all just roughly by hand. I don't know if you can see, just a bit of sandpaper. And with contact adhesive and these strips of rubber which are cut from an old tractor inner tube that I got from a tire repair, pl repair place that are throwing them out. I'm just going to put in these as spacers and insulators. Like that. I decided to put a couple of extra little blobs in. that and the next one will go on in the opposite direction I'm just turning it around this way I'm also going to offset it a little bit to the side um, the reason for that will be obvious a little bit later and obviously the alternate pieces are going to be um, positive or negative etc etc positive negative positive negative positive negative these are the middle pieces and I'm going to work few layers out this way, a few layers down this way, and I will show you how that's going to work out. And there we have it. It's not pretty. But I can't see any reason why it shouldn't work. The reason that I did separate these a little bit, offset them, is so that now I can connect this to positive and this to negative. Oh, now the glue isn't set on that now, so I have to re-glue that. Okay, but I will get that done, fix on some terminals, and let's just hope it still fits in the jar. So, new electrodes are in place. I finally figured out how to get this video the right way up. It was before that I didn't matter which way I had the, the phone up, it always came out the wrong way. But now I've figured it out, so that's one problem solved. So, I'm all ready to see what happens. Try and get a nice close up of this as I put the last connector on with one hand. connected and oh yes we've got quite a lot of activity in there now so it looks like aluminium at least works at this stage
hopefully you can see that that water is now clouding up with bubbles. There's actually a lot of a lot of activity in there. I think this is a definite improvement. Ah, I have a leak. I have to sort that out. Nevertheless, we actually already have some bubbling going on in the bubble jar. In fact, that's a lot of bubbling going on in the bubble jar. Okay. I'm going to disconnect this and sort out that, that leak. And we'll try again. Okay. I just did it the old-fashioned way, stuck on some silicon. It's been drying for a little while, not very long. It's probably still wet, but I'm going to reconnect because I'm very interested to see how much hydrogen we're actually getting here. If I can actually do this while holding the phone. And amazingly, straight away, we're getting a, I'm actually quite amazed with how well that's working. That's a lot of gas being produced. Okay. Now, I imagine it would take a few minutes, perhaps, for the air that's in the jar and the pipes to come through before this stuff actually becomes flammable when it's actually hydrogen coming out but let's give it a try yeah as I thought I'm gonna give that a few minutes See how it's going, but that's looking really quite good. So I figured I had some kind of electrical problem. There was a little short circuit, fixed that, and tightened up all the terminals, and it's all working very well. I'm very impressed with this. I'm going to show you exactly how well this is working. Okay, so you can see quite a bit of gas coming out. quite nicely. Let's just try the pyrotechnic bit. Oh! <laughs> splendid, splendid. So aluminium electrodes. Oh, with this design of electrodes it certainly works works very well so we're going to try this tidy this up again and I'm going to try this in the car I'm going to try putting it into the car I've been unable to find some any really good information on YouTube about exactly how this connection to the car goes but I'm just going to make it up as I go along as usual and see what happens I've already been recording the fuel Economic fuel, the mileage, how much I'm getting, how many kilometers I'm getting per liter, etc. Over the last two times I've filled the tank. And we'll see once this is connected, I'll have to put a switch in here as well. Once I've got this connected up, if it makes the slightest bit of difference. Should be interesting, but that's going to be another video. I'm going to put this in and I'll again run it um, and fill the car up twice, make an average of the numbers so the numbers might actually mean something. It's going to be city driving and long, long drives, so I'll do it over two tank, two fill, fill ups, and those numbers might actually mean something. Okay, but it works.